This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. The skies are finally clearing in Wise County following a massive fire that burned for nearly four hours Tuesday. It happened at a saltwater injection well due to open for business next week. KVUE.com reported the operator at the site called 911 just after 8.30 a.m. and reported lightning struck one of the tanks starting the fire. In all, seven tanks burned. Firefighters from Paradise, Boyd, Cottondale, and Rome took turns fighting the fire, using foam to put out the flames. The fire finally burned itself out just before noon. Wise County said no one was hurt and there was no need to evacuate nearby homes. The Environmental Protection Agency has been contacted, will be investigating the impact of the fire on air and water quality, along with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. A Baytown dad is facing charges after investigators say he encouraged his son to beat up another boy at a bus stop. Jorge Paredes, 30, is charged with injury to a child. According to court documents, Pratis drove his son to a bus stop at Gentry Junior High around 8.15 a.m. last Friday. Police said Pratis and his 11-year-old son got out of the truck and his son confronted the victim, 13, who was waiting at the bus stop. The victim told police Pratis' son walked up, pushed him to the ground, got on top of him, and started punching him in the face. The victim said while the younger boy was beating him, Pratis encouraged his son to choke and punch the victim. Police said the entire incident was caught by a surveillance camera. Pratis admitted he'd done wrong, but he was tired of his kid getting picked on. Charges were filed against Pratis on Monday. A member of the Railroad Commission of Texas has proposed allowing employees to pack a weapon while carrying out agency business. The Associated Press reports Commissioner Barry Smitherman said Tuesday the potential policy change would allow workers who can legally carry a concealed handgun to have their own guns on the job. He says commission employees often work alone in desolate areas of the state where they could encounter criminals or dangerous wild animals. Animals. The Commission's primary purpose is to approve and oversee the permitting of all oil and gas wells. It has no oversight of railroads. Texas has one of the more liberal concealed handgun laws in the country. Residents who carry a license are also allowed to bring weapons into the state capital. Licensed carriers can bypass metal detectors at the entrance. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.